What's going on Aries? Welcome to your reading for December 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading, Aries, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the month of December 2021. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming for the month of December 2021. We're also going to get some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides for your December 2021 experience. Keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading, so take the messages as they resonate for you and your situation and leave behind the ones that don't resonate for you. Also, be sure to smash that like button so that all the Aries people out there can find this reading. You find that the more people that like, share, and comment on the video, the more that YouTube pushes it out, and that also helps me grow this channel. So without further ado, Aries, let's go ahead and do four shuffles and really pull the energy for those of you watching this reading for December 2021. As always, I want to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Aries. December 2021, messages for Aries, please. December 2021, messages for the sign of Aries, please. December 2021, messages for the sign of Aries, please. Just so you know, Aries, we will be clarifying these cards as we move along this reading as well. Looking pretty intense, though, to start off. Wow. Look at all these major arcana, Airy. Wow. Aries. <laughs> Called you Airy. All right, Aries, so let's start off for you here in your overall general energy for the month of December 2021. Up top here, this row, the Wheel of Fortune, the Strength card, and the High Priestess is all about your energy for December 2021. So this is definitely a very intense spiritual period for a lot of you guys. A lot of productivity, a lot of great energy, but let's just start off here with this Wheel of Fortune, right? Seems like you guys are on the path of your highest destiny here in December. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot revealed to you about where you need to go, who you need to be with, and it could be scary because I feel like there is going to be a period here where you feel like you're shaking up your life here, Aries. The Wheel of Fortune is almost like a good luck card, right? It's kind of like hitting the jackpot or um, some of you could be getting some sort of synchronistic benefit this month that you didn't really see coming. So it's looking amazing. Now, you all also have the Strength card and the High Priestess, so I feel like there is going to be a pull for you guys to kind of avoid this Wheel of Fortune energy is what's coming through. So, in the month of December, I see a lot of you Aries going within and utilizing that High Priestess energy and being strong in this as well. Intuitively, what's coming through Aries is like you guys know you guys are on the cusp of a major life change, having to do with productivity and your destiny, judging well. Okay, for some of you, you may have to leave a certain relationship behind and be strong in doing so or leave a certain situation, family members, or a certain job in the past. Okay, I feel like there's going to be something, I feel like a lot of you guys already know what this has to do with, with your destiny here. There certainly is something about um, acknowledging the inner world, right, with the strength card to the high priestess. The high priestess is all about intuitive knowledge that only you can know about. So I feel like with the wheel of fortune and the judgment card right underneath it, there's something about your destiny, what you're meant to do. For some of you, it, it has to do with who you need to be with, a certain person that may be a little bit conflicting with your current life situation, right? I feel like there's going to be a change up. Now, this could end up really gracefully happening for you, but we're going to clarify that in a second. Now, let's move on to what you do not see coming here, Aries, 
for December. We have the Judgment card, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Moon card. So let's just start off with this Eight of Pentacles. This is a great card to receive. It is the centerpiece to your reading here for what you don't see coming. So I sense a lot of um, financial benefits and productivity coming through for you, Aries, here in December. I feel like there's going to be this feeling as things unfold in December, like you guys are exactly where you need to be. You're on the right path of productivity. It seems like things are gonna be running really smooth for you this month is what I could say, is what I'm intuiting. Now you do have this judgment card right underneath this wheel of fortune and right after the high priestess. So there certainly has to be a judgment made. Now there's a lot of divine intervention with this wheel of fortune to the judgment card Aries. So it's not even like you guys have to do a lot. I'm getting that you just need to ride out this flow, ride out this wave, and just make the correct judgments along the way. This is one of those readings where there's so many major arcana cards everywhere that we're going to have to clarify what these really mean in a second here. Now, you do have this moon card here, right? in what you don't see coming, and it's right below the high priestess. So this has to do with your subconscious mind. This has to do... For a lot of you with your destiny, once again, it's like you guys have to be strong to keep, you know, chopping wood, carrying water, just acting like this isn't happening. There's this feeling like, Aries, like you guys know that there's a major destiny at play here, but you almost have to act like it isn't. So a lot of you, I feel like you have to hide it from someone, honestly, is what I'm sensing. There could be a certain partner in your reality or a certain family member that doesn't really want to see you ascend here. And so it's almost like you just have to put your head down. It's like you're at work and you know something's better is coming. You just keep acting like it's not coming. So I don't know. Once again, it's one of these readings we're going to have to clarify. But the message from your spirit guides here, the advice and messages, we have the magician we have the Knight of Cups and we also have the Three of Pentacles here. So your spirit guides are definitely advising you to manifest new love here, Aries. You guys are ripe for it here, right? The Magician manifestation energy, almost tricking yourself into believing that this is what's happening. The Knight of Cups also represents someone coming in. I sense a new romance arising for you guys, Aries, here in December. I feel like some of you have someone on your mind about who this Knight of Cups is. And I feel like you guys feel like this is a soul contract, to be honest with you, Aries. Like, it's almost like you're meant to be with someone here, right? You also have this three of pentacles here, which shows that whoever this person is that's coming in, you may do work with them. This may be someone who, because you see how this knight of cups is like marching right into this three of pentacles. This has to do with working with other people. So there definitely is like some soul contracts coming in for you, but this is all about destiny, right? It's like one of those readings that's so good. I almost don't even know what to say, right? What would you say? Wheel of fortune, strength, high priestess, judgment, magician. I mean, it's pretty amazing here. Uh, and then you have that moon card as well, but let's really get into your reading now, Aries, and start clarifying some of these cards. But whenever you have yeah, you have one, two, three, four, five, six out of nine cards that are major arcana. This is like, I just feel like your destiny is starting to kick in, Aries. Like, it's once again, it's not, it's like this feeling you guys don't even have to do much. You just have to ride the wave, right? This is happening a natural transformation of ease. So let's go ahead and clarify this Wheel of Fortune for you, Aries. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune for Aries, please. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune energy for Aries, please. All right, so no longer feeling like the outsider, guys. We have the outsider card here, right? So this is about healing, stepping into a new portal of your life. For a long time, you guys may have been super introverted or it's coming through as like the feeling of not being worthy of your highest destiny. Once again, you guys don't even have to do anything. This feeling of being an outsider, like you don't deserve to manifest the relationships you deserve, that's coming to an end here. Now, a potential that what could be happening is you guys stepping away from a certain situation that makes you temporarily feel like an outsider for the present moment, okay? You may have to walk away from someone here, Aries, is what I'm sensing, but overall, this feeling of poverty, I feel like there's gonna be really a lot of abundance for you this month, Aries, like more money than you know, 
more money than you're used to dealing with, right? It's looking really good for that here, Aries. So you're moving beyond, like, it's like you're entering a new phase of your life. I'm almost getting, like, the world card energy. Let's also clarify this high priestess. There's a mystery of who you need to work with as well, Aries. I don't know. Let's see. Wow. Did, did I not just say the world? Right, and look at that card just popped out of the deck, the world card. So the high priestess is clarified by the world. So once again, there's a, the, the wheel of fortune, the strength, there's a certain phase of your life that's ending now, and it's up to you to determine what you want to do next. The world card, you could be graduating from school. You could be, I sense a lot of you are just getting more money than you, you're used to, and that's opening up all these options in love and work. So there's this feeling of it's going amazing, Aries, but it's almost going too amazing. And it's almost like you don't know what to do with all this abundance. Like who do, well, it's almost like you don't want to make the wrong choice in love or you don't want to make the wrong choice when it comes to your destiny because you have this feeling like so much is going on here with your highest destiny. It's like, am I on the right path? I feel like a lot of you guys know that you're on the right path, but there's something to do with the physical world because look at these two clarifications of Major Arcana, right? The Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in this Osho deck. So there's certainly an improvement in the physical world, but that's almost like, it's almost like you're not used to all the freedom is what I'm getting, Aries. It's like, you're really not used to it. Let's also clarify this Judgment card, Aries, in what you don't see coming. You might have to make a choice here, right? You might have to make a choice, a big decision, a judgment. Let's see though, Aries. Why is this judgment card here for Aries? Tell me more about this judgment card, please, for Aries. Tell me more about this judgment card, please, for Aries. Yes, we have the Fool card, guys. Judgment to the Fool, once again, another major arcana card. So you guys are walking the path. Once again, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing progression. Right after the World and the High Priestess, we have the Judgment to the Fool. So it's certainly about listening to your intuition about what it's telling you to do next here. Certain phase is over. Feeling like an outside is over. Even for some of you, dealing with these people that you no longer want to deal with is over here. So now you're on the fool's journey. So you're going to have to be working hard and you're going to have to be maneuvering through the, through the waters, right, um, with this moon energy. So let's also clarify this eight of pentacles for you, Aries. Why is this? So there's a judgment to step into the new, essentially, because once again, you know that you have all these new people waiting for you here. Your spirit guides are calling you to them, or could be one person here in love. The Knight of Cups is always good for romance. Tell me more about this eight of pentacles for Aries, please. Something about the strength card to the Eight of Pentacles is like knowing you're going through a major transformation, but then acting like it's not happening because that's going to remain you in a balanced state. You don't want to get too high on yourself here, Aries. That's just what's intuitively coming through for some of you. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here for Aries? People are certainly starting to recognize what you're doing in a positive sense. Yeah, so the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Abundance card, guys. This is like the Knight or the King of Pentacles, rather. Once again, you have another suit of Pentacles here. So there is this theme of your physical life improving drastically, Aries. Now, this card has a secret message in this Osho Zen Tarot deck. If you happen to be someone who embodies more masculine energy, spirit is advising you to sink into the feminine and just go with the flow of life. If you happen to be more introverted or more in alignment with the divine feminine side of life, spirit is calling you to be more masculine and step into your work. So depending on who you are and what energy you embody, integrate your opposite qualities, what this card says. You see how the man on this figure is very in this card is very open to the feminine side of life. He is a man, but he's very open to all the different elements of life. So 
once again, I just feel like drastic improvement in your physical life, Aries. And it's almost like you're going to be so free and so abundant. That's it's, a, it's like you guys are looking very attractive to other people. The Eight of Pentacles is already an attractive energy. People noticing your accomplishments here, Aries. Noticing the battles that you've gone through. Noticing a new phase of your life opening up. But with the Abundance card here... Certainly, it has to do with a spiritual path. I feel like a lot of you guys have been on the fool's journey for a long time. Now you're finally getting to the point of freedom. Like you can go out, you can do what you want. But there may be a, free, a fear in that. Because a lot of times, like just remaining in the monotony of daily routine is actually somewhat familiar and comfortable. So there is this feeling of physical improvement, but then that leaves you with all these options. And there's something called the apathy of options. Like, Analysis is paralysis, right? Let's clarify this moon card. What's this moon card doing here for Aries? Tell me more about this moon card here for Aries. Tell me more about this moon card here, the moon energy for Aries. Yeah, so we have the healing card, guys, right? So this is uh, this is deep emotional healing for you guys. No longer no longer fearing your power, guys, right? So the moon subconscious mind is healing. I feel like for a long time, Aries. You've been putting on a lot of work and not really getting any benefit from it. Receive, feeling like you're an outsider. It's almost like the tables have turned here. So if you feel like you've been in in not like a powerful position, I sense a, a change in your status, Aries. So it's almost like, you know, as a human being, as much as we want to talk about being spiritually awakened, the more your status goes up in a society, the more the less serotonin you the more positive emotions that you feel your body regulates it and your emotions start to to pick up so there's this feeling of your improving status healing any sort of subconscious belief that you have to remain an outsider so it's really amazing full abundance healing are you kidding me it's it's great aries but now let's move on to the message from your spirit guide i feel like we don't even really need to clarify this because it's clear as day for me aries what's going on here your spirit guides are advising you to to Invite new, especially with people, into your life. They're advising you to manifest new love and new relationships here, Aries. The Magician, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you are in a position where you can court someone now. It's almost for a long time you felt like you didn't have a lot to offer. Now you are valuable, and it's almost like you're questioning, well, who do I go for now that I have this value? Well, it's really up to you. There is no wrong decision here, I feel, Aries. So let's go ahead and clarify a few of these cards for you. First card that we're going to clarify is this magician. Why are your spirit guides advising you to go on that magician's journey? What are they calling you to manifest here? They're telling you, once again, with the abundance card, you have everything you need to manifest. You see how the magician has all of these different tools on the table. You're able to utilize air, water, fire, earth, all of it, right? So you're not limited anymore like you used to be. Tell me more about the, this magician card here. For Aries, please. Yeah, the, the awareness card wanted to pop out. So you have awareness of all your potential here, Aries. But let's see. Let's keep clarifying. Tell me more about this magician card here for Aries. It's almost like you guys are overwhelmed with all the decisions that you have to make now. Wow, I wanted to pop out before. Possibilities, it's exactly what I sense here, Aries. This is like the two of wands, and it's funny that you see the number two is all about partnerships and relationships. So there's this feeling of like, you have all the possibilities in the world to manifest a new lover here, Aries, is really what I'm getting. But possibilities go far beyond that. It's in general. Some of you may be, in, may be called to travel because you see how this fool card is all about being out in nature, going on the fool's journey, and then you have the possibilities. You have all these low numbers, right? Um, 
down here. So there's certainly a, like you're on the first step to this new love. Let's also clarify this Knight of Cups. Why is this not? What is this romance card doing here? Could be someone coming into your reality. For a lot of you, though, I feel like you need to make an offer to someone. Once again, you need to step into that King of Pentacles energy now that you can. But let's see. Why is this Knight of Cups here for Aries? Why is this Knight of Cups here for Aries? Okay, Aries. So <clears throat> the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Burden card here. So I feel like you guys are going to be a little bit hesitant here. It's almost like you guys have all this freedom. That feeling like rushing into a relationship, a love relationship, it might actually be a burden to you because I feel like you guys are getting out of one here. And so it's almost like you don't want to create another burden here for you. But spirit is telling you the opposite. Spirit is telling you go for this new person. Go with the possibilities. Don't let your feeling of, oh my God, this person's going to like con control my life, hold you back, Aries. Once again, because right after the burden in the Knight of Cups, this fear of, it's, uh, by the way, look how the burden is pointing to this possibility. So you're almost like, you're almost being burdened by all the possibilities here, overthinking, right? But you see how what follows the Knight of Cups to the Burden card is the Three of Pentacles, which is all about cooperation and being an even exchange. It's a win-win experience for, for a bunch of different people. So I would say just be prepared for a fear you might have with all these possibilities. It's like, why do I want to trap myself in a new situation? Well, it's not a trap. It's actually very, very beneficial for you, Aries. Um, so be ready to work with other people. Trust that it's going to go well for you. So with that being said, Aries, if you want more information here on your December 2021 energy forecast, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find information on that in the description box of this video. You find that those readings are much more specific and detail oriented rather than just a general reading. It's looking great for you, Aries. So I wish you the best of luck. I love to work with you guys. And either way, I will talk to you guys next week on your next reading. But I hope you guys have a great December 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Peace.